Hi everyone, Jennifer here. I'm batch cooking for the entire week. I hope that you join me because being chic is being prepared. Welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. Today I am batch cooking fresh for the first time on the channel. Normally I batch cook for the freezer and you're used to my freezer meal videos, but today I am cooking fresh for the entire week. Today's video is a collaboration with my friend Kim from Free to Family. Kim is the queen of batch cooking. She is so good at it and she has so many batch cooking videos. She also does the keto diet. So if you're interested in any of that, you've got to check out Kim's video. I will leave her video linked down below. After you watch my video, go check out her video and say hi from me and subscribe to her channel. If you're coming over from Kim's channel, my name is Jennifer and I run the blog and the YouTube channel, The Daily Connoisseur. And I believe that being chic is being prepared. It's so much easier to get through the week if you are prepared, and that definitely includes meals. So without further ado, let's go back in time now and start our batch cooking. Okay. All right, so here we have what I'm going to be making for this week, and I have a whole chicken right here. I have some chicken sausage. I have ahi tuna filet, white Dover sole filet. I'm going to be making rice, some caramelized onions, some green lentils, and acorn squash. I thought that I had some sweet potatoes, but I don't, so that's too bad. But I think that this will all be fine. If I need more sides, I can easily do that during the week. This is what I picked from the garden. I have a giant cucumber here. I have some rosemary, some basil. Those are the herbs I'm going to be using. Lots of kale, lots of green onions. Okay, I'm just marinating the ahi tuna right now. And I just have some sesame oil in there. I'm putting some sesame seeds on top some chopped garlic, chopped green onions, and some soy sauce. And now I'm preparing the other fish we're having this week, which is the white Dover sole. And I'm just going to bake this in a foil packet. This is my favorite way to cook fish because it just gets moist, you can't overdo it. So I'm just seasoning it with salt and pepper and I'm just putting some butter on it, slices of lemon, and some fresh herbs from the garden. I think I just have basil here and some chopped green onions. You could just put whatever you want. I like to just cook from instinct is what I call it. And that's it and I just wrap it up in a foil packet and I just put it in the oven about 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. So if you're not used to cooking in this way, just go for it. The worst thing that can happen is that your dish doesn't turn out that good but it probably is going to be great so I love to roast a whole chicken I do this all the time I do different things each time but right now I'm just rubbing it with olive oil salt and pepper and I'm tucking in some chopped garlic under the skin I find that this gives it an excellent flavor I'm just stuffing the cavity with an apple you could also use onions or lemons and then I'm just putting some sliced onions on top and some rosemary from the garden just because it looks pretty that way and it smells so good when it's baking so that's just gonna go in the oven as well until it's finished. I have an acorn squash here and I'm just going to de-seed it and I'm cooking it in a bain-marie, which means there's water in the pan and that makes uh, the squash moist. It doesn't dry out when you bake it that way. So this is all going in the oven with the fish and the chicken. Fish is gonna come out first. I'm going to put some butter and maple syrup inside the squash and it's so good when you just take it out and you mash it up, it's delicious. The maple syrup gives it a little bit of sweetness. Okay, now I'm going to prepare the lentils in the Instant Pot and I'm just sauteing some chopped onions here. And I'm putting the entire bag of lentils in and I've just washed it and rinsed it. And then I'm putting about eight cups of water. This gives thick lentils. If you want a soup, you should put 10 cups or more. Putting a little bit of bouillon in there for flavoring. And then the kale from the garden. So if you want the al dente, just cook it for about six minutes on high pressure in the Instant Pot. But I want mine softer. The kids like it a bit like a soup uh, consistency. So I'm doing about 15 minutes in the Instant Pot. Meanwhile, I have some rice going in the rice cooker. That's yellow watermelon, isn't that funny? 
and I'm cooking my chicken sausages. So you see, this is all a dance. When you're batch cooking, you just have so many things going on at once. Uh, if you're a woman, you're probably just used to this anyway in life, so it's not going to be too stressful for you. I am now going to sear the ahi tuna, and it's just about one and a half minutes on each side. I like it pretty raw in the middle, and I'm just uh, putting the marinade on top. This is so good. I had this um, throughout the week. My older daughter likes this as well, so she had some too. It's just delicious. I like this with rice and a salad and maybe some avocado. It's so good. So just garnishing it and getting ready to store it. So the food stayed pretty fresh the whole week. I was not disappointed at all with anything. Um, everything felt really fresh. I ate the fish first. And this, by the way, is what the fish looks like after cooking it for about 20 minutes. So I just wrap it right back up in the foil and I leave it. Baby connoisseur approves. Yes, he does. Okay, so I have made everything and this is what I have for the week and I'm so excited about it. So here is the roast chicken and it turned out beautifully. Um, I could brown it a little bit more but I wanted to take it out and film and just kind of get on with life so I might put it back in for a few minutes. <laughs> I have some rice back here in the rice cooker. The lentils turned out great. I took them out of the instant pot so I have that. That's enough for the whole week for sure. Um, here is the acorn squash with maple and butter. I have the seared ahi tuna that will just be good with rice and a salad. I have some yellow watermelon there. Here are the chicken sausages all cooked up. This is the Dover sole cooked in the foil so it's nice and moist. I've tried it, it's delicious. And these are figs from my mom's tree. So I plan to have this fresh throughout the week and we will just have a fresh salad every day with whatever we have that will add some more vegetables. Or if I have another vegetable, I might get the sweet potatoes like I had planned um, and that will do it. So there you go. So much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed today's batch cooking video. Give this video a thumbs up if you would like to see more batch cooking videos from me. And don't forget to check out Kim's video. I will leave her link down below. One final major announcement. My book, Connoisseur Kids, comes out this Tuesday, Tuesday, September 10th from Chronicle Books. So you will see me then where I'm going to do a big announcement and also a giveaway. So I hope to see you back on the channel for that. Thank you for joining me today on The Daily Connoisseur and I will see you next time. Bye.